Uh, greetings, everyone. The Star newspaper on the 20th of October 2022 carried a story uh, titled Ugandan Woman Victorious in Visa B. This is a story about a Ugandan migrant we had, we had entered South Africa, accompanying her sister on a short visitor's visa. Um, she later on applied for the extension of the relative visa. Uh, in, 20, in 2011, initially when she entered in 2009 on a short visa, she applied for a relative visa, which tried, issued valid for two years. Uh, when uh, in 2013, she failed to renew her visa, she had to return back to Uganda, but then came back uh, to attend a church conference on a short visitor's visa, as is the norm. Uh, she then applied for a work visa, being assisted by the church. Uh, that's where, again, she had uh, challenges. Um, she al alleged that uh, she could not return to Uganda because of uh, statements that she had made on LGBTQI uh, uh, persons, uh, uh, and that this is criminalized in Uganda. So she feared that uh, she was going to uh, uh, be jailed or harmed in Uganda. Uh, in 2014, she was granted an ASLAM document, um, uh, which we call Section 22. Um, but, but then uh, she was later on declared undesirable. Uh, she then approached the High Court in Cape Town, which ruled in her favor. Uh, there, are, there are many migrants that uh, we know that are in this category, uh, uh, that uh, in their passport there is a stamp which says V list, uh, which is visa entry and a stop list. So if you have a sticker in your passport written in V list, it basically means you are declared undesirable in South Africa. Uh, reasons vary for granting a, a VIN list or giving a person a VIN list that is barring them from entering South Africa. It is not uniform. It varies uh, uh, from one person to the other. Some might have overstayed in South Africa, assuming you are coming on a 30 day short uh, visitor's visa, which is normally the stamp that they give at the border, they write the days, 30 days, and then you overstay. When you go back uh, to the border post, you are declared undesirable because you have overstayed. Some, when they get to the border, uh, when the passport is scanned, it, it will show that they have a criminal record in South Africa, then they are declared undesirable. A, a, a criminal record will depend on a number of things depending on the crime that one would have committed. Some will be declared undesirable or having this VIN list stamped in their passports on the basis that they are in possession of a fake permit. Remember, we always talk about those that will pay between uh, <clears throat> 7,000 to about 15 or even 20,000 rands. A, a sticker permit is then put in your passport. Uh, you go to the border, they scan, it does not scan, uh, which means it's fake, and then you are quickly declared undesirable. So I have many migrants that are in this situation, and there's some I've been on uh, ZEP. Uh, we have, in the last day, uh, 12 years been begging to get uh, this list removed in their passports. Uh, even if you apply for a new passport, uh, the V-list doesn't disappear. Uh, uh, initially, you'll recall that uh, there was a fine. You'll be asked to pay, say, a fine of 3,000 rands or so. 
uh, uh, at the South African embassy in Harare in case of uh, Zimbabweans uh, and the other migrants also in, pay the South African embassy in their countries of origin for them to be able to visit South Africa. But later on, the fine was removed. They simply give you a ban uh, between one to five years, depending on your own circumstances. But uh, when the five years is up, it is not automatic that uh, you, you um, get uh, cleared. Uh, you need to apply. But the challenge that we have had, mainly with the Zimbabweans, is that uh, you go to Harare, the South African embassy, you don't even get allowed to enter the premises. A security officer at the gate will uh, give you an email address and a phone number where you need to send your documents. You can imagine, say you are in Bulawayo, you travel to Harare just to be issued with a, um, an email address at the gate of the embassy. Don't speak to an official uh, and a phone number. When you write the email, they do not respond. When uh, you phone the number, no one picks up the phone. Uh, so many people are in such a situation. So the African Diaspora Forum uh, is looking also into such individuals, into such migrants to, to see whether it is possible to assist them uh, 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 with uh, this challenge. We are not saying we will help you, but uh, we want to look into your own circumstances to understand how you were issued uh, or you got the fee list or how you were declared undesirable in South Africa uh, so that uh, we can uh, see how we can assist. If we can assist, we will try our level best, but if we cannot, uh, that's it. Uh, but uh, we will certainly want to uh, uh, check these individuals to see what is happening uh, because uh, it is not correct that uh, when you are on special permit, <coughs> in the case of Zimbabweans, you, when you go home, as we are approaching the holidays, uh, you end up using illegal means to visit your family and they also use illegal means to get back into South Africa. Uh, it is a big worry to us. So please send your comments uh, and uh, you have our contacts. You have my number, which is plus 27833401000. Uh, we will look into uh, your own issue. Um, and seeing how, how we can assist it if it's possible. Uh, some might be stuck uh, uh, in Cameroon, uh, some are stuck uh, in Zimbabwe, in Malawi, in Mozambique, in a number of different countries because they were declared undesirable. Uh, uh, so we want to just to check what were the circumstances. If we think um, you have a case to appeal, we will certainly assist you. But uh, if there is no case for you to appeal, there is nothing that uh, we can do. Uh, so please write in the comment section your own challenges. Uh, please circulate this video and kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Otherwise, goodbye.